only one in my classroom that could do this. Ew, that is gross. <laughs> Did you know you get that from mom and dad? See, look. <laughs> we can both touch our nose with our tongues. Can yeah. you touch your nose with your tongue? No, Not I can go up my nostrils. Ew, up your nostrils. Wow! <laughs> Who is ready for today? My ears dance, baby! Baby! That's how you want to do it. Rebecca! Rebecca! I have been waiting for this day for eight, eight years. years. When I found out I was having a girl eight years ago, I said to myself, one of these days I'm going to take my sweet little girl, we are going to go on a mother-daughter date and we will get her ears pierced and it is an opportunity for us to spend time together and for you to remember it your entire life. Could I have gotten her ears pierced when she was a baby? Yes. However, we chose to wait for Emma to get a little bit older so that she can have responsibility, she can take care of her ears and make sure they stay clean and healthy and twist the little earrings and that you'll remember this day forever because I wanted you to remember the day you got your ears pierced. Do you remember the day you got your ears pierced? I wanted it to be kind of fun and special, but I told her we have to do your hair before we leave the house. So let's do your hair. Tell them about my head. Emma wants me to tell you about her head. When she was born, the doctor had to break my water. So they go in with like a little crochet hook and they snag the amniotic bag and the fluke. No, I don't need to go into detail, but basically he went in a little too far and scratched her head. Yeah, the hook scratched her head. So when she was born, before she was even born, she had her first owie. She had like this little scab on her head. You can see how her hair parts in a line right there. That is a scar from when you were still in my belly. Is that crazy? Have you ever been to a tattoo place? No. I have never been to a tattoo parlor before. Saturday, 12 to 12. Dang it. What time is it right now? It's after 12. The only other thing we can do now is go to call another place. You're no. thinking Claire's, huh? Yeah. A lot of people go to Claire's to get their ears pierced, which is fine. I think that's where I went. <laughs> I've just... She's, she's anxious now. I have just heard lots and lots of things from so many people saying, don't go there, go to a tattoo place instead because they, the gun that they use is for sure sterile and I don't know. I just, I don't remember what all I heard other than, <laughs> we will find another place. Let's get on Google and find yeah. another place. Convicted ink tattoo, here we come. Okay, why don't you pick out a pair of earrings? Emma's picked out a color of earring stud. You picked out pink, huh? Mm -hmm. So they actually just told us why a lot of people come to tattoo places instead of players to get their ears pierced. Um, the way the needle or earring goes into the ear, this is less traumatizing to the tissue. It's more of like a needle opening of the skin instead of the piece of jewelry just like blunt forcing into the skin. So that is why, and it is more sterile than Claire's. I just bit my tongue on accident while I was chewing my gum and it hurt. You're nervous? Someone is getting their tongue pierced right now. That would make me nervous. bad was it? No. Kind of. A little pinch off. So I didn't even realize you didn't even use a gun. Mm -hmm. so you don't even use guns here. Okay. So we just use needles here. At the okay. Part. Okay, we're gonna switch sides, Emma. Are you ready to do the other ear? You can't give up now, huh? It looks good. Let me double check. Making sure they're even. Two times a day. Clean it two times a day. Okay. Make sure no pets. 
touch him. Don't touch him with your dirty hands. Did you hear that? Don't touch your ears with your dirty fingers. Wash your hands and then use contact then solution. I'll let you know how to clean them. Okay. All right, take a deep, deep breath. One, two, three. No, oh, Emma, you're so good. You didn't even scream. She's still holding on tight though. <laughs> That's okay. We're done. I just gotta put the ball in and you're done. Can we see what it looks like without the ball? So it's a flat yeah, ball that we put on. I like it. You do? Mm -hmm. So I thought when you got your ears pierced, you're supposed to twist them. And she said, don't twist them because that will like reopen it up and you can get more infection that way. Instead of twisting them, instead move it forward and backwards. So that's how you're supposed to do it. You just move it forward and backward. So Emma's earring is actually a flat back. If you can see that, it'll prevent hair from catching on it easier. And you just twist off the little stud. That stud, here, turn your head. So the earring right there is just twisted on to that flat back right there. So we just twist it and then pull it off the backwards way. Cool, huh? While Emma and I are out and about, we are looking for baptism dresses. Emma is going to be eight soon and she, she gets to make the decision if she wants to be baptized or not. And so the store was on the way and the very first dress that we saw, she fell in love with. Like we haven't even looked through the store and I think that is beautiful. Should we look around? Okay. Wow, there's lots of pretty ones in here. Let me see your ears, sis. Oh my gosh, did that hurt? Are you sure? Yeah, think... just a little bit. Did you go? Oh. Did you she cry? So brave. No? For real? No. Did it hurt? I mean, you're like, let me see your other one. How long do you have to keep those in for? Six weeks. Six weeks? You can't ah. even take them out for six weeks? No, it's six weeks. So I think she's being a little timid right now because they Initially, I don't think it hurt her so bad, but as it's been about an hour, mm -hmm. so it's really tender now. <coughs> it's gotten really tender, and so I think she just probably needs a little Tylenol in her system now. Yeah. That it's just been a little bit. Awesome, that is beautiful. <coughs> they did a good job to get them right in the right spot. You look awesome. <laughs> and I see you got a dress over there. Go grab it, let me see it. Emma is going to be the easiest wedding to plan when she gets older. She makes decisions like super fast. That's and she's, the one I want. Yep. 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 We walked into the store. First thing she saw, she's like, I like it. And she went with it. And what is this dress for, sis? Baptism. Oh, baptism. You're awesome, sister. It looks beautiful. And mm -hmm. no, the price tags are not what I paid for. They I were didn't on even sale. look at them. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Don't look at the price tag. Don't ask. How much did you spend for this? Yeah, right. I left a receipt in the car the other day. Oh my gosh. And Landon, well, that was for your little princess. Her outfit. bell dress. Landon was like, so I saw that receipt in the car. That was, and I was a little like, ridiculous. Oh! <laughs> More than this dress right here. Really? Was it? Oh, yeah, that wasn't very much. Anyway, wow. we're good. <laughs> Several hours later and some Tylenol in Emma's system, she is feeling much, much better and a little bit happier. Do your ears feel better now? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, they do. You have cream on This one's called I Love Cookies. I Love Cookies Cake. actually about cookies and spears. Emma's playing the piano for us. And then I'll do Herbie Hippo. Okay, next one. Porter does this thing every time I ask him, how much do you love me? And sometimes he voluntarily tells me how much he loves me, but I don't think I've ever actually recorded it. I think I've done an Instagram story, but I would be so sad if he outgrew this and I never caught it on film. So Porter, how much do you love mom? Two and a half thousand million, two hundred million, thousand million, hundred thousand million, hundred thousand million, Wow, did you catch that number? That is a lot of loving. That is so much love. Mwah. How much do you love Lucy? Four? 
How much do you love Emma? Three? How much do you love Dad? Ten. Oh! I got a bigger number than you. Okay, how much do you love our YouTube audience and our viewers? How much do you love all of them? Five hundred million thousand. He, he had to think about that for a minute. But seriously, we love you guys. Thank you all so much for your love and support. I really wish that we had the comment section on, but we still do not. But just know that we think about you guys as we turn on this camera, and we hope that when in some way or other in these videos we can inspire you to do better, be better, or whatever it is. So thank you so much for being a part of our lives, and we will see you guys in our next video. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs>